Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a magazine design using GIMP step by step. If your GIMP is not in English, what you have to do is, depending on the computer, go to Preferencias. You might find them in Editar Preferencias or if you're working with Mac in GIMP Preferencias, which is the case. But the most probable thing is that you have Preferencias in Editar. So um, just get into Preferences and scroll down in the left side of the screen until you find Interfaz. Click in Interfaz, Idioma, select English from Great Britain. Click in Aceptar and finally quit the program and start again. So right now you have all the menus, tools and the language set in English. So let's see if you have all these uh, windows open because uh, they are going to make everything easier. Try to see if you have all the tools shown in the toolbox. If they are not or you have some of these icons hidden, just go again to Preferencias, in this case Preferences, then scroll down until you get to the toolbox in the interface and in the interface make sure that you have not checked the option use tool groups that is that the box is empty pressing ok um, will be very useful as well to show the guides and to show the rulers of the document let's create a new document that is going to be the canvas in file new we are going to choose template dna3 300 pixels per inch this is the printing resolution, 300 per inch is quite a, quite a good resolution, so we won't see um, the image of the magazine pixelated. Choose portrait position of the document and make sure that you have in the background color the white selected, otherwise the background will be with a different color. Click in OK, OK twice and this is the canvas of the document. Before we start setting all the elements on top of this, it's quite useful to see if we have the rulers on either side of the document and the guides. If they are not, it's very open to activate these two things. Just if you can't see the rulers, so you if you can't see the rulers, so you can't see the guidelines. This is what you have to do. You have to go to view and check the option show guides and check the option the option show rulers okay all right i'm going to put guidelines in the document which are lines that are going to help us to extract the information and making the composition nice but they won't be printed the uh, appearance is a dashed line with uh, some kind of blue hue so this is how we introduce the guidelines we have to go to image we have to go to guides and we're going to add a new guide by percent okay the first one we're going to introduce is going to be uh, I will apply the rule of thirds. So the first guideline will be at 33.3%. So you have seen that we have already the first guideline at one third from the top. I'm going to continue adding guidelines, but this time the next one that is going to be direction horizontal is going to be at 66.6. .6. And I press in OK. Then I'm going to introduce two more guidelines, exactly with the same procedure, guides, new guide by percent, but this time the direction is going to be vertical, will be 33.3 and another one still vertical at 66.6. .6. Okay, so these guidelines are going to help us just to structure all the information. Uh, there are many possibilities to open a file in GIMP. You can go to File, Open and show the path to open or you can just click and drag in the documents you want to edit. So I'm just going to open these three, which are the, bar the barcode of the magazine. Um, then we also have the, the image, which is going to be in the background. And then we should also have the... Um, I have all the documents I'm going to edit with the GIMP opened at the top. 
this is my canvas, this is the barcode I'm going to include, this is the picture I will, I will put at the back, and this is the portrait of uh, the cyclist um, that is going to have the main interview, right? So, okay, if uh, I find that the, uh, the color of this image is very uh, dark, so the first thing I'm going to do is to little, little bit the colors in the, the exposure. So just, I will make black deeper and the exposure higher. Okay, I'm just going to decrease the saturation a little bit, just in the hue saturation. I'm going to just scroll down a little bit the saturation. Okay. Perfect, it fits. So what's next? I'm going to select all. I'm going to edit, copy. I will go to the canvas. I will say edit, paste as new layer. And attention what has happened, that on top of my background, I have already the pasted layer. It's not in the right position. So what I'm going to do is taking the move tool, I will slightly move it to the right, to the left, sorry. And, um, might be a good idea also just to move it slightly downwards. Okay, I think in this position will be pretty nice. Okay, I'm going to flatten this layer on top of the background. The only thing I have to do is to go to layer and then match down. All right, I will continue adding the information, the written information. I will start with the masthead. Uh, the name of my magazine is a spin and um, I'm going to select points per inch maybe I'm just going to get some kind of red color okay will be let's see with 200 points per inch this is big enough maybe it's not let's see with 300 and uh, I'm going to select the font I don't really like this one Okay, this is my final choice. The name of this is a spin. Um, I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. Okay. Oops. What happened? Okay, I will place this at the top. I've seen that I have some kind of blue in the background, so that I have decided to crop. So just selecting this piece, what is the same? I'm going to paint in white, which is going to eliminate the problem as well. That's it. Okay. I will continue writing information below. So I will type the information I have just um, written separately that I'm going to include in the, um, this is a cycling magazine. magazine I'm going to type um, the volume which is this information and I need all this information in red exactly the same red we have in the in the volume in the in the title Just make sure that you have activated the right layer. Okay, in this situation, clicking and drag a guideline is going to help us just to align perfectly all the elements. Okay, all right, perfect. I continue with the written information. I will write the headline of um, the masthead, sorry, of the main article. Write stronger. Mm. 
in this bold color okay so it's not very visible so what I'm going to do I think is going to introduce um, some kind of color below in a new layer this is like the frame of the main headline as you can see this layer is piled up above the other ones so what I'm going to do is just to bring it forward downwards, sorry so if we make a box below, below right is stronger and I just uh, paint this in some kind of grey color using the paint packet tool okay and then I change the opacity of this layer I can just make the typography not legible okay this frame with the main headline is going to be associated with Rider Stronger so I'm just going to move them together right just making a click in the chain in these two layers they will be part of the of the same layer so let's now so we can move them together in this case that Okay, I will continue introducing the barcode. So I select all, I edit copy, I go to the file that has the canvas, I paste this new layer and I'm going just to label this new layer as a um, barcode. I will move it to the right position which is going to be here at the bottom I'm going to zoom a little bit on it because I think I'm just going to make this bigger with the escape tool which is this one so in the layer barcode clicking on it I will just make this bigger okay in addition on top of this I'm going to add a little frame with the price Okay, this frame is going to be black. I'm okay, never mind. I'm just going to make a new layer, right? Which is the price. In this price, I will just paint. Okay. And uh, the barcode and the price, I'm going to match them together. So, layer match down. Now they are part of the, of the same layer. And uh, I will get the the tool to write the price price three euros there we are price three euros oh all right i have my background picture with the headline in this um secondary headline below the the name of the masthead or the name of the magazine i'm going to include as well um the um, the website of the magazine so I think it might be a good idea just making a click here to add the extra information about the website I think it will be pretty clear that uh, to include the secondary headlines so my secondary headlines are going to be um, several articles about health and fitness bikes and gear our experts okay so um, I'm going to start just um, making these secondary articles, right? The first one is health and fitness. So I will just take this tool and I think I'm going to get the copy plate, but this time um, let's write 20. This is big enough. I like all these headlines um, with a different color. Maybe it could be nice, some kind of dark gray color. Okay, so I'm going to create more than one. In our experts, we are going to introduce a picture as well of the, um, 
of the cyclist. So I'm going to select all, edit copy, edit paste this new layer, right? And I think maybe that the portrait is too big. So what I'm going to do is crop it. Um, I don't need this piece anymore. I don't be, need this piece anymore. And the piece I have, cyclist. Uh, I'm just going to turn this picture into black and white. If I go to colors, um, the saturate, the saturate. I just can turn my picture into some kind of black and white. Okay, let's see how it looks like from far away because maybe we still have to make some, some. We have to move some of the items. Okay. Okay, once you are satisfied with the graphic design, this is just what we have to do to save the file. On one side, we have to say, say file, save. We have to type magazine cover design. And we have to save it in the right folder. On the other side, to prepare the document for printing, we have to say, File, export as, export as, select file by type, scroll down until you get to portable document format, click on it and click in export. Okay, do not check layers as pages or reverse the page order, just click in export and you've got it. This is the document that should be printed magazine cover design pdf pdf documents keep exactly the same illustrations drawings and especially typography in the dimensions you have designed okay hope you enjoy it